seldom a day goes by that I load up a tournament and think, I could be teaching right now. Oh, there's always that little bit of a conflict in me. I'm Ian Simpson. I'm a professional poker player and ambassador for 888 Poker. I was born in Ashington, quite close to Newcastle in the northeast of England, and I love my hometown. I love seeing the bridges and the statues when, I, when I'm coming home from one of these events. My childhood was, was really great. I grew up with my parents, obviously, with amazing grandparents. I had a mixed relationship with school. I was like pretty good academically. It wasn't until I became a teacher that I started loving being in school. The teaching was absolutely magic. It's difficult, it's long hours, but it's incredibly rewarding. My first time going into a classroom with um, like 30 kids all looking at me, expecting me to be like the adult <laughs> was very strange because I still don't feel like an adult. And if it wasn't for poker, I'd still be teaching. I won a satellite to the Irish Open in 2012. Won a package, hotel, some money for expenses and the tournament buying. And I got fourth in the thing for a hundred grand. The people organizing the event also had a, a side promotion going on. They said the longest lasting online qualifier gets a 100K sponsorship deal with them. 50K for expenses. 50K had to be spent on tournament buy-ins. There was no way I was gonna be able to use 50 grand's worth of buy-ins within the teaching holidays. So I was left with a choice. Leave teaching and take this 100 grand sponsorship or turn down this once in a lifetime opportunity to travel the world playing poker. So I said, okay, I'll do it for a year. And I did it for a year. This is 10 years ago. <laughs> I did it for a year. I thought, okay, I'll keep going and, you know, I'll come back to teaching another day. I'll, I'll keep on with the poker and I've just kept on with the poker. It was always a close decision between staying and teaching and playing poker. Um, once I got out of the teaching profession, there was just so many things keeping me in poker. I always miss teaching. Yeah, it's really nice when I get to use my teaching skills in poker. So when we do Focus Fridays on 888, I get to make a PowerPoint and I get to deliver a lesson again, and that's lovely. A friend of mine pointed out that poker is a lot like university now. It's all about study and learning. If you treat it like you treat university and you were successful at university, then you'll thrive in poker. But that's how you've got to treat it. It's an academic exercise. Jaws drop when I say, hey, did you see that really interesting hand that Gareth James uh, solved on YouTube? And they'll go, yeah, it was cool. I said, oh yeah, why don't you write an essay about it? And they go, you crazy? And I'm like, yeah, write an essay about it. And then when it happens at the tables, you'll crush it. Could I have been the poker player I am today without my experience in the classroom? No, absolutely not. My classroom experience has been invaluable in so many ways in my life, especially in poker. Just knowing how to learn how to digest information, even just like knowing how to interact with people really put me in good stead to be in the poker environment. So I'd, I'd be a very different person if I'd made just one little change, one little, one little change of decisions at university or whatever and didn't do teaching, I would be a completely different person. What is next for me in the world of poker? I make the same resolution every day, just make the best decision I can with the information I've got. So my poker goals revolve around that. I want more live accolades. I'm hungry for live poker. I want more online accolades. I'm hungry for online poker. I want to keep learning. I want to keep growing my Twitch community. I think that's just about it. Make good decisions.